how to do front brake pads on the 2005 Silverado Chevy 1500 4.3 Vortec long bed. So I got my jack underneath the control arm raised up. I got it about two inches off the ground from the tire off the ground. I got the lugs already loosened on the ground. That way the tire don't spin or anything like that. I got my brake pads already. I got the medium grade brake pads because they offer you like four or five choices and you know the lowest being 22 uh, they got a 36 about 36 all the way up to in the 60s now I'm sure they have ceramic ones that you know go for a lot more but uh especially if you have rotor damage if you've got any scarring on your rotor you don't want to go with uh ceramics because uh you want that to buff out over time and your regular crappy brake pads will fix that so I'm going to go with medium gray brake pads, take off this tire and see how bad the pads are. Alright, I got the two bolts that were, one goes here and one goes here, and here, off, and they are three quarters. And so now it's, you know, it's, it's the bolts are gone, they're out, and it should just pop right off, but you're going to have a little problems because there's a, there's a clip holding that on. And so now we need to kind of gently philangle this off the best we can and uh, the best way is to gently tap with a hammer right around here 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 and then kind of that way so I'm gonna do that all right remove the caliper have it sitting up there try not to pinch the line too much and uh, these just slide out this way if you got a screwdriver fly head that makes it a lot easier if you don't you're screwed no, so I'm gonna slide these out easy flathead screwdriver in a second. Come on. Ah. Yeah, work with them a little bit. Then I'll put my new ones on. See the difference between brake pads? Old one, new one. And these are more than half. And the other side is worn more. And so, uh, time to replace them. And you can see the difference on the back one's a lot more worn. And, uh, it's kind of corroded. There's a difference between the uh, inside pad and the outside pad. And the difference is there's this big metal, well not big, but there's a metal pad on the back. To keep them cracking is easier because it's got the pistons pushing against it. And um, it's bigger surface area too if you look at the, well, I'll show you a new one. If you look at the other side one, it, doesn't, it has a swoop here. This one doesn't. It's flat. It's metal. It's a little more sturdier. Put that on next. All right, both brake pads are installed, and on Chevys it's really easy. They just kind of slide in place, and the caliper fits over them. The caliper holds them in place, and the anthropical force of the rotor spinning around keeps them from grabbing. And so, basically, what I'm going to do here is uh, the caliper itself. Um, the pistons have to be put back in a little bit because the brake pads are bigger for one thing, and also because they do come out if you leave them out. And so, what we're going to do here is we're going to take a C-clamp. First, we're going to take old, the old brake pad because you don't want to do this with a nice pad. We're going to put it on top like that. And we're going to put a clamp there and just clamp it down until probably one side at a time. And then uh, we'll be good. Put them back inside themselves and then we'll put it all back together and be good. See here, I just have my giant 9 inch, well, 6 inch C-clamp right there. And I'm tightening it up and uh, those uh, pistons are going back in place. And so I'll just get them about flush and then uh, put it on. Alright, we got the brake caliber back in place. And uh, the bolts are not in right now. Uh, here they are. And I got a little bit of Loctite blue, which is a medium grade Loctite. And I just want to put a little bit on the threads. You just put a little drop there and it's going to work its way around every once you twist them in. Just a little bit. I'm going to go crazy about it. Just gently tighten them in. They find their holes. <laughs> Come on, baby. Like so. There we go. Then I'll do the one down here on the bottom. Then I'll tighten it up with my wrench. Okay. Right in there. Loctite's good because bolts, you know, especially when brakes, they can work their way out and you don't want to be in that situation. Although the tire will keep the caliper around the tire, but it'll probably not be as effective braking. All right, 
basically done here. Just got to put the tire back on. And we'll do the other side exactly the same. So I'll put the tire back on, put the nuts back on, tighten them up, snug them up. Uh, before I drop jack, then I will totally tighten them up. Put my hub spacer on. Not hub spacer. Cap. Whatever it is. Anyway, I hope this video helps people. But of course, it's, you know... It's simple on a Chevy anyway. It's pretty easy. Uh, Fords are a little more difficult. You gotta pinch some pins together and stuff like that.